Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how you can apply for electricity connection in Kenya. Down here below we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure page where we have given you detailed information on how you can go about the registration process. We have also included external links to websites where you can visit and get more information about the requirements for electricity connection. We have also included uh, links to uh, the online KPLC online self-service portal where you can go and make the application online. We have also included links to the documents which uh, you are supposed to uh, use while making the applications and we have placed these links at convenient places which you can just and download by clicking while you read through the uh, application uh, procedure. And on the right hand side of our screen you have, you have put a select language option and you can choose a language which you find easy for you to understand. So let's get back to our presentation and the list of items which we're going to cover in this session include the need for application for electricity connections, the eligibility, the required documents, steps to follow in making the applications, the fees applicable, the validity period, processing time, office and contact locations and any other information that we may see relevant on how you can go about this application process. So welcome to our presentation today and it's brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. So welcome. Need for application for connection. The application for connection to uh, of electricity facilitates the legal connection to the Kenya Powers and Lightning Company's national grid. Um, the electricity supply contract is needed also when applying for construction permits. And the eligibility is that a newly constructed building with no existing electricity connection is eligible to, to apply. Uh, existing connections which want to change the connection type, for example, if they want to change the phase type or change the amount of voltage, they can also apply for electricity connection. Uh, the required documents are as follows. Uh, for all applicants, they are supposed to uh, provide copies of an ID, PIN certificate, a route, a route sketch map to the location of the premises which requires uh, electricity connection, supply contract form, uh, plus wiring certificate, copy of the title deed and land such document for the owner of the property. Consent, uh, also a consent from the owner of the property is needed. Uh, for people who want uh, applicants for meter separation or additional load or voltage, they are supposed to uh, present also a copy of the latest electricity bill. Requirements for corporates are as follows. You need a copy of certificate of registration and route a route to leading to premises where electricity supply is required, copy of the PIN registration certificate or PIN certificate, a scaled site plan for industries, housing estate or shopping malls. You need also the consent from the owner of the property and a supply contract form which must be signed and wearing certificates which must be signed. Uh, the process, um, uh, the procedure is as follows. Application can be made online or in person. So in, in person, the first step is supposed to go and make the application. So visit your nearest KPLC, Kenya Power and Lighting Company or Uduma Center to make the application. Uh, at Uduma Center there is the KPLC desk so you can visit that to make the application and here you'll be provided with an inquiry for supply of electricity application form to complete and also a supply contract form to sign. Uh, these forms can also be downloaded online through these links. We have included the links to in our wiki procedure website and we are going to go through these forms as we move on with the presentation. Uh, the, applica the application must be accompanied with the following required documents. Uh, documents for submission. Okay, and the documents are as follows. We have already uh, gone through the documents, the copy of the ID, uh, copy of the title deed, and uh, you need to note if you download the forms from the website, uh, you're supposed to submit the form, uh, to fill the forms and submit them to your nearest a KPLC office together with the required documents. So after you have submitted the required documents, the second uh, uh, step is you're going to have a KPLC site visit. Uh, they are going to, the company will come and visit 
uh, your uh, your site to conduct an external inspection to verify the standards compliance and estimate cost of setting up the connection so uh, this uh, process is done within eight days of uh, of the application and after the application you'll be given an estimate cost of the supply of electricity this will depend on the distance to the main grid and the third step you should now go and pay the estimate depending on the estimate cost of the supply of electricity you should proceed to make the payments please present the payment receipt to the kplc offices to facilitate connection so after you paid the estimate uh, uh, and you should suppose now to present the payment receipt to the uh, to the kplc and you will receive external works meter installation and electricity flow and uh, connection will be completed within 75 days from the payment of the connection fees so uh, that's the process of the in-person application the online application can be done by first making the application online uh, okay we are going to see how this one is done and the steps three to four is still the same after you have made the application uh you are going to get a kplc site visit they'll notify you when they'll come to visit your site then they'll give you an estimate for you to go and pay and after you pay the estimate you are supposed to present the payment receipt to kplc offices for you to receive your electricity connection which is usually after 75 days so let's see how this one is done online uh, first of all uh the the application forms for the for the for the in-person application the we have the the inquiry for supply of uh, electricity and the supply contract form now this one is the inquiry for supply of electricity now we will be given this form to fill uh, which uh, I, which states the type of application which you are which you you are making uh, and your your data the type of appliances which you have and fill this form attach the required documents and submit together with this supply contract form and uh, and submit it to the kplc office to get your visit your site visit and estimate cost and we can also do the, the application online by clicking on this we have included the online portal here by clicking here you'll be directed to this self-service portal and click on your right hand side click on the new new supply application yeah so click on this right there and by clicking that you'll be directed to this page and this page you're supposed now to to go ahead and fill uh, your data uh, if you are using uh, your ID to make the application so go ahead and fill the required information so if if you are using your ID uh, your name your your contacts your physical address where the, the site is located and uh, the supply uh, the county you're supposed to fill uh, choose even the google uh, the google map location by entering the longitude and latitude and the type that you should also fill the type of application which type of connection you want if it's domestic preferred service if it's post pay or prepaid service and also the attributes of the type of connection you're making and after that you're supposed also now to upload the required documents and when you're done and uh, click on send and you'll be verified that you're not a robot you click on send and you you'll be done uh, on that process and after that uh, the kplc will contact you on the day on which they'll come for the site visit and for you to pay your estimate cost and uh, receive your connection so the fees uh, depend on the distance from the existing power connection uh, power requirements and the number of meters needed so the fees uh, is very is a variable and the validity period for the electricity connection is forever however 
the connection can be disrupted or disconnected if the electrical bill is not paid the processing time can take up to three months uh, the office location of the kplc headquarters are at steamer plaza parklands nairobi kenya the website is at uh, www.kplc.co.ke and you can go to their self-service portal at self-service dot kplc.co.ke other information is that the procedure for applying for electricity in kenya is lengthy and might turn out to be very expensive depending on the number of meters provided and it's supposed that it's important for you to prepare all the necessary documentation before proceeding with the procedure so thank you for watching once again uh, with wiki procedure hit the like button and hit the like button and together and hit the subscribe hit the like button together with the subscribe button uh, to get uh, a notification button also to get uh, notified when we uh, upload more videos so thank you for watching and i wish you all the best in your quest to get these to get your connection to the electrical grid in kenya so uh, have a good day